Have you ever wondered how computers talk to each other? Computers, just like humans, have their own unique way of communicating. This process known as computer networking is the lifeblood of our modern digital world. Imagine you're sending a letter to a friend. You write your message, put it in an envelope, add the postage stamp, and drop it in the mailbox. The postal service takes care of the rest, ensuring your letter makes its way to your friend's mailbox. Now let's apply this analogy to computers. Instead of letters, computers exchange data. This could be anything from an email you're sending, a picture you're uploading, or even this video you're watching right now. When you hit send, upload, or play, your computer puts the data into a digital envelope of sorts known as a packet. Just like your letter needed a stamp, each packet needs an address where it's supposed to go. This is known as the IP address. It's a unique identifier that tells the computer network where to deliver the data. But how does your packet or letter get to its destination? This is where the internet comes into play. The internet is a vast global network of computers. It's like the postal service in our analogy. It takes the packets from your computer and delivers them to the destination computer based on the IP address. The beauty of this process is its flexibility. Just as your letter can reach your friend whether they live next door or across the globe, your data packet can reach any computer connected to the internet, no matter where it is. This is the essence of computer networking. Computer networking is a complex field with many layers and protocols, but at its core, it's simply about ensuring that data gets from one point to another. It's the digital equivalent of the postal service, ensuring that our digital letters reach their intended destinations. Just like the postal service delivers your letters, the internet delivers your data. But how do computers understand each other? It's not like they speak English, right? Well, you're absolutely right. Computers don't speak any human language, but they do have their own language. This language is called a protocol. In the world of computing and networking, protocols are like the grammar rules of a language. They define how data should be structured, addressed, transmitted, received, and acknowledged. Let's imagine a scenario. Say, you're in an international gathering with people from all around the world. Everyone speaks a different language and communication seems impossible. But then, Everyone decides to communicate using a universally accepted language, say English. Now this universal language becomes the protocol that everyone follows, making communication smooth and seamless. In the same way, protocols in computer networking enable computers from different parts of the world to understand each other and communicate effectively. They ensure that data is packaged, sent, received, and unpackaged in the same way by all computers, irrespective of their make, model, or operating system. One of the most important protocols in computer networking is the Transmission Control Protocol, Internet Protocol, or TCP-IP for short. It's like the English language in our earlier example, widely accepted and universally understood. The TCP-IP protocol ensures that data is broken down into small manageable packets, each of which is sent across the network independently. Once these packets reach their destination, the TCP-IP protocol also ensures that they are reassembled in the correct order to form the original data. These protocols like TCP-IP are vital in ensuring that data is sent and received correctly. They help maintain the integrity of the data and ensure that the information you send or receive isn't corrupted or lost in transit. So, in essence, protocols are the shared language of computers. They are the universal set of rules that allow computers to communicate and understand each other, making the vast and complex world of computer networking possible. Now let's picture a data packet's journey from your computer to a website. Think of a data packet as a car. Your computer is the home where the car is parked and the website is the ultimate destination. This data car, however, doesn't travel alone. It's part of a massive convoy of data cars, all zooming along the information superhighway. The data cars don't go straight from your computer to the website though. They have to pass through a series of checkpoints known as routers and servers. These are like the toll booths and service stations you'd encounter on a real road trip. Each one has a specific job to do in getting the data cars where they need to go. Now, imagine that each car has a sticker on it, indicating where it's going. This is the IP address. It's a unique code that tells the routers and servers exactly where to send the data. Without an IP address, the data car would just wander aimlessly around the information superhighway, getting in the way of other traffic and never reaching its destination. But how does the data car know which route to take to get to the IP address? That's where the domain name system or DNS comes in. The DNS is like the GPS in your car. It looks at the destination IP address and works out the quickest and most efficient route to get there. 
It tells the data car which routers and servers to pass through, ensuring that it doesn't get lost or take a wrong turn. And just like on a real road trip, things can sometimes go wrong on the information superhighway. A router might break down, or a server might get congested with too many data cars. When this happens, the DNS reroutes the data, finding a different path to the destination. So, there you have it. The journey of data from your computer to a website is a complex process, involving many different elements working together to ensure that the data gets where it needs to go. Think of it as a road trip, where the IP address is your destination, and the DNS is your GPS. Why does all this matter, you ask? Well, consider this. Every email you send, every movie you stream, every online game you play, all these are made possible by computer networking. It's the invisible force that keeps our digital lives humming along. And when things go wrong as they sometimes do, understanding the basics of networking can be your secret weapon to troubleshoot and enhance your online experience. In a world that's increasingly connected, understanding networking is more important than ever. Now you know how computers talk to each other and how your data travels across the internet. We've decoded the language of computers and journeyed through the pathways of data. We've seen how networking impacts our daily lives, from sending a simple email to streaming your favorite movie. Understanding computer networking empowers you in this digital age. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more tech knowledge. Thanks for watching.